So what I've done now is I've moved the site online onto my dedicated server. And if you look at the domain here, you'll see that it's www.howktv.com, which is one of the domains that I own. And we're just going to use this as a temporary space just to, you know, test our site in a production environment. Um, eventually, the site is going to go on to this uh, server uh, on freightforum.com. So we're just using this uh, domain as a temporary space just to um, test in a production environment. And also in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do um, the email validation part of the registration system. So, um, you know, this is going to be a good way to test that. And so what I want to talk about in this video is considering our site is not finished yet and we don't want bots crawling it, we don't want our site to be indexed right now because it's not finished, I'm just going to show you how to uh, stop them from doing that. So I'm just going to go over to my FTP right here and you'll see that in my root web folder here, um, the same folder that has, has like application and system folders, I have a robots.txt file and I'm just going to open up this robot.txt file right here. Uh, looks like we lost the connection there. So let's just open up this robots.txt file right here. And you'll see that I have this text right here. User agent colon and then star and then disallow slash. So this means um, any kind of user agent, any kind of bot, we're not going to allow them to our crawler site, you know, in any folder starting from the root folder. So this is going to block, you know, all bots uh, from going to all the different pages. Now, they don't necessarily have to listen to this, but they are supposed to. And I would think that, you know, the bigger search engines, um, they would follow this. So just make sure your robots.txt is exactly the same as this. And the next thing that we want to do um, inside our header folder here is we want to add one line, which is this meta name, uh, meta name equals robots, and then content equals no index. And I think if you have both of these things uh, in place, then you're not going to get um, any bots crawling your site. You're not going to have any indexing done by any of the uh, reputable, reputable search engines. And we can just test that um, that, that robots.txt is accessible. Just go robots.txt. And if you can see that in your browser, then they're going to be able to see that too. And you just want to test that just to make sure your HT access file isn't, you know, blocking this file from being seen. Um, so basically, yeah, we have this site online now. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do the email validation.